All right, let's go to Vegas, right? So we're going to do a probability problem here, which we're asked, it says two cards are selected from a standard deck of 52 playing cards. So you got card one, <laughs> good, good job, huh? And card two. It says the first is replaced before the second card is selected. That's important. Okay, so I draw this card and then I put it back. So it wants to know, find the probability of selecting a heart and then selecting a king. Because it specifically states the first card is replaced, is put back. That's important. That's important. All right, so the probability of getting a heart. So if you're not this big gambler and you don't know about cards, there's 13 out of 52 hearts. All right, now, now we put the card back. So there's still 52 cards, and that's the part that's important that you understand that there are still 52 cards. So now what's the probability of a king? It looks like four kings. So I just get my nice little trusted calculator out and I multiply these. So 13 over 52 is 0 0.25. Uh, four out of 52 is 0 0.077. And multiplying these out, I get 0 0.019. So the only way this would change is if we came back and we said, oh, well, let's work the same problem, but now we don't replace it. Okay, so that would be the only way this would change because then now you only have 51 cards. All right, so be sure you watch the this whole dependent, independent. The probability of getting a king is independent of the probability of getting a heart because we put the card back.